So what's happening to all of this? Hey, I'm just farting. <laughs> Can I give you some more bad news? Yes. The bad news is that in this country, we are so, so, so copycat of what's happening in other countries. Kopya tayo ng kopya po, yung nangyayari sa, sa Amerika. Of all the Asian countries, we are the least Asian. <laughs> Kaya media shapes culture. Let me repeat that. Media shapes culture. Ayaw aminin. Guys, alam mo ba, I used to have a regular segment in Umagang Kay Ganda. How many of you have watched me there? Tasa pa ba? Okay, tamo ba na? That's a long time ago. Panawa pa nila, eh, dumazano ng TV web, right? Yeah. So, one time, habang hinihintay ko yung on-cam, sabi ni Edu sa akin, Francis, pasensya ko na ha, kasi itong programa natin yung pangmasa to eh. Kaya dapat, medyo, alam ko naman, magaling ko sa English, pero uh, gusto ni Direk, lahat, Tagalog, kasi masa kasi. So sabi ko sa kanya, eh, itong lakas ng influence, no? Oo oh, eh. Now, don't you think that dahil malakas ang influence natin sa media, it is our job to elevate their standard. Kaya ang katuwiran lagi nila, media is to reflect society. No, you shape it. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'll give you one practical example. Nung araw, hindi pa masyado pang media-media. Pag naglalakad ka, natisot ka. Ano expression mo? Ano expression mo? Ha? Huh? Sus! Ayos! Eh, tignan mo yung mga bata pag nag-S-H-I-T-F-U-C-T! Saan galing nyo? Saan galing nyo? Media is not the arbiter of truth. Kaya, do you allow criminals and immoral people to enter your house? You will guard your family to the death, right? Yes. And yet you allow them to enter through Netflix and television. <laughs> the same thing. They're even more romantic that way. Two suicides within a few days, representing two generations. One baby boomer, the other one Gen X. Mental health issues in the Philippines now is number one throughout Southeast Asia. Depression is very real. I talked to TJ Manoto because he wanted to consult me on this documentary film and I said, you gotta release that. TJ Manoto, he said, I'm very happy with TJ Manoto. Kanina nasa NBA siya. He's going to leave the Philippines now and he's going to work in America now for, for ABS-CBN. And I said, you gotta release your document. He's one of the finest, kindest guys I've ever met and he's one of my speakers as well. And T.J. Manorto suffered with depression for the longest time. So you make a documentary here, I I've got some other things I want to share with you because we need to be aware. And I, I deal with a lot of uh, young people all everywhere, not only in business but also in school. I still get, guys, this is my second talk for the day. My first talk Nina, was in World Trade, buti na lang malapit dito. So I spoke in a wedding convention. <laughs> This is my second talk. Now, this talk of mine here officially is my 137th talk for the year. I average about 320 plus in a year. But a lot of these talks are given for free, especially when it's for schools. Right? We have to learn how to give back to our country and community, correct? Raise up your right hand, you're too quiet, I don't like that. Tap the shoulder, person to your right, look at that person and say, learn to give back to your community. Kamay, tap the shoulder, look at that person and say, what kang mukhang pera. Metal health issues is on the rise and all these things, grabe. Lahat ng challenge nasa pamilya na. Why? You understand this? I will not say this in a business environment. 
That's one of the main agenda of the enemy. When he destroys the family, an entire society is destroyed. Simple and simple lang. And now copycat. What? We want divorce? We want everything else? My goodness. You know, I was asked one time in front of the executive, sabi ng isang tiga DSWT, I just like to know your views on divorce. Hindi ba na pass na yung view? Ang sabot ko, I'm the worst person you should be asking. I'm the least objective of them all. I'm very biased. Really? Sabi na, sabi ko, besides my opinion, doesn't matter. Sabi na, but we want to hear it. How is it? Sabi ko, I'm a Bible guy and I don't apologize for the In my Bible, God says, I hate divorce. Period. I will love what God loves and I will hate what He hates, isn't it? But then, I have news for you. The new generation, ang tawag namin Gen Z, naka-attend si... Asa na? Anong backslide na ba? Naka-attend siya. Gen Z, meaning to say... Teka mo. Sino mga Gen Y dito? Taas ako ba? Hindi mo na alam kung sino ang Gen Y, ha? Sir Tari, pakita mo nga. Ayan, yan ang Gen Y, ha? Sino ang Gen Y dyan? Yan, okay. Gen C, ibig sabihin, anak din na yan. Born after year 2000, di ba? I've got news for you. Gen Z will grow up to be the biggest population of people in the world, also in the Philippines, who will grow up to become atheists. But long guidance counselor na ng mga skwelahan na nagsabi sa akin, Sir Francis, ito po yan. Ngayon palang kita na namin. I won't mention the name of the school to protect their privacy. Mayaman na school to sa Makati. I won't mention that. Kowen yan, Kowen. Sabi sa akin ng guidance counselor, Francis, you're talking to grades 5 and 6 and 7 students. Couple of years ago pa yan. They say it's cool not to believe in God. That thing is happening all over the world. So more and more, we are engaging more challenges. Ang hirap na nga ng buhay ngayon. Dagdagdagan mo ba ito mo na ito? Let it be. First, let me establish. What time should I stop? Kasi I have a tendency to talk and talk until kingdom comes. What time should I stop? 30 minutes na lang. Hindi pa tapos ang introduction ng kingdom. So let me go further. In other words, ito pa, ito pa. I think this is important. I've never shared this in parenting seminars before. I'm going to share this with you now. How many more you have teenage daughters? Taas ako na yun. If you have teenage daughters, remember this. Age 17 is the new 21. Lahat ng mga impressions na kinukuha ng isang 21-year-old lady some 15 years ago, absorbed na ngayon ng 17. Is that still strange to you? Hindi na eh, di ba? Social media. How many of you have teenage sons? Taas ang kamay. If you have teenage sons, listen to this. Age 26 is the new 18. Magkaroon ng regression yung kanaki. And this is backed up by empirical evidences. In America, less and less male are enrolling for their driver's license with DMV. And DMV is Department of Motor Vehicles. Yan ang LTO nila. In America, you don't have a license. That means you don't have a car. You don't have a car. You don't have a job. So what are they doing? They're staying home. Just recently, three weeks ago, a pair, a pair of parents filed the case to evict his their 32-year-old son. Ayaw na ba basta pa? Hindi manda. Grabe. <laughs> More and more males are dropping out of school. If not, they're overstaying. More and more females are entering the workplace and they are excellent as leaders. I'm dealing with more leaders now. Men are expiring. They're growing extinct. <laughs> 
we'll just look around you. There are more women than men, Diva. And the few men that are left, many of them are not. <laughs> so there's, there's an imbalance happening right now. Oh, I wish I had more time to tell you what's happening right now, but uh, all this feminist movement about being equal with men, Men and women are created equally, but they are created differently. Huwag mo pipilitin yan. Kaya ngayon, eto na naman yung mga bata na hindi nag-iisip, hindi nag-research, hindi nag-aaral ng Bible, manudo ng mga media, kuko kayo yung pinagkagawa nila. All these feminism, feminist actions and that. Nagbabakfire. New York Post just came up with an apology for the fourth time. They have a difficulty using the right gender pronoun. Kasi sa mga contracts kayo, hindi na po pwede yung he or she or whatever. So you don't even know what pronoun you're gonna use. In, in New York, may babaeng, may dalang grocery. Ako naman, napakabobo ko. Nakalimutan ko na ako sa Pilipinas.